If you're asked to convert 4.75 to a fraction, here's how you do it. So first off, let's just call it 4.75 over one. Since we're dividing by one, we haven't changed the value. It's still 4.75, but now we have the start of a fraction. What I need to do is get 4.75 to a whole number. And I see I have one, two decimal places. So with two decimal places, I can multiply by 100 and that'll give me a whole number. So 100 times 4.75, That'll give me 475. And now we have our whole number. But I can't just multiply the numerator by 100. I also need to multiply the denominator by 100. 100 divided by 100, that's just 1. So again, we're not changing the value, just the way it's written. So 100 times 1, that equals 100. And we have our fraction, 475 over 100. But we can simplify this, and then we can write it as a mixed fraction as well. Let's give ourselves some room. So I know that 475 and 100, these are both divisible by 25. So if I divide 475 by 25, I end up getting 19. If I divide 100 by 25, I get 4. So I end up with 19 fourths as my simplified fraction. This is an improper fraction. 19 is larger than 4. So let's reduce it to a mixed fraction. So 4 goes into 19 4 times, because 4 times 4, that's 16, with 3 left over. So we'll call this 4 and 3 fourths. So this is our mixed fraction. You can check that. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 plus 3, that's 19. So 19 fourths, just like we had here. And that's it. This is Dr. B converting the number 4.75 to a fraction. Thanks for watching.